Welcome to uh, Unit 9-4, still in Systems of Equations, and this time we're going to be looking at solving by multiplication. Yes, previously we saw uh, addition and some subtraction, and now we're going to see some multiplication. Remember, of course, that addition and multiplication are intimately related. Multiplication is just a high-powered form of addition. First, our math career. How about a hydrologist? A hydrologist, these are people who apply scientific knowledge and mathematical principles to solve water-related problems in society, such as problems finding quantity, quality, and availability. Of course, water is something that without, goes without saying that uh, everybody in the whole world needs, both forever and forever and ever. So um, this is an important job and a uh, very valuable career and probably quite rewarding. You can see your mathematics you need here, and you can see your salary structure here pretty healthy. Probably um, some research, probably some traveling, different things involved depending on who you're working with and for. Fun job probably. Uh, today we will learn to solve a system of equations by addition and subtraction by altering an equation. So let's see. Notice, um, remember that we've solved by graphing and by substitution. Um, we've solved by addition and subtraction, which we call elimination. Okay. And previously we've had problems like these. So take a look at the following here. You have these systems. And notice how they're all lined up nicely. X is over X is Y is over Y is constant over constants. And what do you notice about all these coefficients? What do you notice about all these? Looks like one and negative one. Looks like one and one here. Uh, five and negative five. What do we got over here? One and negative one again and again. So, the question is, what if these coefficients are not so friendly? What if they aren't just coincidentally opposites of each other? Alright, so take a look. Just watch this example. I'll do all the work here. And here, if you were to look at these, 2x plus y equals 3, negative x plus 3y equals negative 12. Of course, we could solve by substitution. If you prefer that, you can go and go ahead and uh, maybe add x to both sides, divide by 3, get a fraction subtract 2x up here maybe if you want but if we just want to focus on solving by elimination there are no coefficients that will cancel so what can we do here well take a look adding or multiplying by negative 1 will not quite help just yet because even if we multiply by negative 1 here nothing changes enough to allow us to add and get rid of things so stop for a second and think what could we do what could we do so Here's what we're going to do. Since I'm doing all the work here, you can just let me do the thinking. Multiply this bottom equation by 2. By 2. Sounds like someone wants to help us here, but she'll have to wait. Multiply this equation by 2. So let's take a look and see what happens. When we multiply by 2, distribute that 2 through now. What does this coefficient become? Negative 2x. This becomes positive 6. And this becomes negative 24. Go ahead and run that through, and we'll see what we get. Now notice that this equation now has been altered, so I'm going to line this one out and replace it with this guy. These are equivalent equations. This is just bumped up by the power by, by a multiplier of 2. So he goes away, and this one will take its place. And now can we add straight down and see some elimination take place? 2x is canceled. We get 7y equals negative 21. And lo and behold, y is going to equal what? Well, y will equal negative 3. What do we do with the negative 3? Plug it in wherever you'd like. Okay, I'm going to take it here at the top, plug it right in here at negative 3, and then I'm going to simply solve for x. Add 3 to both sides, and I'm looking at x equaling 2x equaling 6, so x equals 3. Now, what's my ordered pair here? Remember, x comes first, so it's simply 3, negative 3. This ordered pair is the point at which these two lines cross right there at 3 negative 3 that's where they cross alright let's try one together so go ahead and write this one down 2x plus 3y equals 12 and 5x minus y equals 13 so stop for a second and think what could we do so let's see if we're thinking out loud here if we add straight down nothing changes we're not going to get rid of a letter even if we multiply by negative 1 I just get a negative 5 and a positive y or a negative 2 and a negative 3. Nothing really helps us here. 
Notice these two are already opposite signs, positive and negative. What if we multiplied through here by 3? Well, if we multiply 3 by 3, wouldn't these two coefficients then be opposite each other? So let's multiply by 3. And we'll rewrite our equation. We're going to line this one out or make it go away. And now let's add straight down. And it looks like the y's cancel. And I'm going to get 17x equals 51. You all know your 17 times tables by now. And we know that that is going to simply be the number 3. So x equals 3. I'm going to take this 3 and plug it into the top equation here. So 2 times not x now, but 2 times 3 is going to be 6. And now I'm going to end up with subtracting 6 from both sides. And 3y is going to equal the number 6. So what does y equal? Well, in this case, y equals 2. And there's your order pair, 3, 2. All done. This is where the two lines cross. This is what we call the solution to the system. It works for both x and y in both equations. Good. All right, now you can multiply either equation or you may have to multiply both equations sometimes. So keep that in mind as we go forward. All right, so your turn here. And each of the following systems of equations tell if you would do what? Just kind of play along with me here. I'm just going to ask you, would you add straight down? Would you subtract? Would you multiply the bottom by what number? Multiply the top by what number? Or multiply both? So here's the first one done for you. So here I've got a system. And in this case, all I'm going to do is just multiply the bottom number, bottom equation by 3. Because this would allow these two coefficients to cancel. And then we can just go about our work. Okay? All right, your turn now. What do you think? What would we do here? Looks to me like 3 and 2, and here's how I kind of look at it. These two don't play nicely together, but 4 and 1 can play nicely together. And I'm not really worried about the coefficients, I mean these constants. These constants are along for the ride. Whatever happens to them is fine. They just want to be treated fairly. So whatever we do to this side, we'll do to this side or vice or up here at the top. I'm going to multiply the bottom here by what? What do you think? I'm going to choose negative 4. Because this will give the needed 4y and make it a negative at the same time. So we get a 4y plus it becomes negative. And of course, whatever happens to the 2x and the 8, negative 8, is irrelevant. It's just going to work to get rid of the 4. Let's try this one. Let's see. What would you do? The simplest way. Of course, there's multiple ways to do this. Always take the easiest way, though. In this case, if we just simply add straight down, wouldn't these 3's cancel? So just add. There's already a negative and positive 3x. How about this one? 2x plus 4y equals negative 4. 3x plus 5y equals negative 3. So let's see, 2 and 3. Uh, these two don't really play nicely together. 4 and 5, uh, they're neighbors on the number line, but they don't play nicely together either. Looks to me like here's an example of where we're going to have to multiply not one equation, but both. So multiply the top number by 3 and then multiply the bottom number by negative 2. This will make the x coefficient 6 and negative 6. So how you would see that is we'd simply multiply the top one by 3 and the bottom one by negative 2. And of course, this is all fair game. We can do this anytime we want to. So we bring this over and we'd end up with 6x plus whatever. This would give us negative 2 here, negative 6x, plus whatever, blah, blah, blah. And these two, of course, would cancel out, which is our job to get rid of the x's. And then whatever these would change by, solve for y. All right. That's it for unit 9-4. Of course, we're going to practice this together. If you want some more instruction, there you go. You can go to this place, look at those videos, and there's digital practice there as well. All right. We'll talk to you soon.